Hey there. A common feature on a lot of websites these days is having an animated burger icon where the menu would be. That has become increasingly popular with the advent of the Lottie library. However, unless you're familiar with After Effects, you're limited to the Lottie icons you find online. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own animated burger icon 100% in Webflow without having to open up After Effects. So, so far in my project here, I have a custom nav bar with a container. And on the left hand side, I have my logo. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to drop in a div that will go to the right side because this container is set to flex horizontal. So I'm going to drop in a div. And I'm going to call this div menu wrapper. And I'm going to set it to flex vertical center center. And I'm going to give it a width of 40 pixels and a height of 40 pixels. And in this menu wrapper, I'm going to add in three divs. These three divs are going to act as the icon. So a top, middle, and bottom. So I'm going to do control E and I'm going to add in another div. I'm going to call it top. I'm going to give it a width of 24 pixels. Now the width is more of a personal preference for the lines. I like the look of having that 24 pixels, but feel free to adjust it, whatever fits your aesthetic and your design preference. So I'm gonna go 24 pixels. And for the height, I'm gonna give it a height of two pixels. Now this height of two pixels is gonna be important later on. So keep this height of two pixels in mind when we get to the animation, because it's gonna become important to remember this measurement. And then we're going to use the navy color that we've been using throughout the project. And now we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this top line two times. So control C, control V. And I'm going to go to the second one. I'm going to duplicate the class, rename it to middle. And then I'm going to go to the third one, renamed duplicate the class and call it bottom. I'll use BOT for short. So now you should have something that looks like this. They're all stacked on top of one another. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it some margin on the top and bottom. So we're going to go to the middle and we're going to give it eight pixel margin on the top and bottom. So eight on the top and then eight on the bottom, which would give you something like this. And now you have your hamburger icon. And now we're going to animate it. So we're going to select our menu wrapper and we're going to go to the interactions tab and we're going to set up a mouse click interaction and we're going to start an animation on first click. We're going to call this menu in and to start it, we're going to select the top line and we're going to do a move and we're going to have it move 10 pixels. And now you're probably wondering, why we're moving at 10 pixels. Well, if we rewind it back to the beginning when we were designing it, the middle has a margin of eight pixels on the top and bottom, and the lines each are two pixels in height. So the 10 pixels comes from the eight pixel margin with the two pixel height. So that's where you're getting that 10 from. So now we're going to add some easing. I'm going to use out court. And now we're going to go to the bottom and do that same thing. But this time we're going to have it move negative 10 pixels. So negative 10 pixels out court. And so at this point we have it where the top and bottom are meeting in the middle. However, before they rotate to make the X, we have to do something with that middle line. Otherwise it's going to have a line through the X. So we're going to do now at the point five of our actions, we're going to Hit the target the middle. We're going to set up an opacity. We're going to bring this opacity down to zero. Once again, out court. So now that that's opacity zero, anyway, we're going to do it with the previous, but give it a delay of 0.5. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the top and bottom to make the X. So we're going to go to the top. We're going to do a rotate. 
we're going to have it rotate 45 degrees on the Z axis. Set the easing to out court and then make sure that middle one is out court. It is. So go back to the top, out court with the previous. And we're going to give it a delay of 0.8. Because the way I like it is I kind of like having a slight, almost like a hesitancy to it. So where it cl collapses down, a slight pause, and then rotates. So I'm going to give it the delay of 0.8. Now I'm going to go target the bottom and do that same thing. Rotate on the Z, but this time it's going to be negative 45 degrees. And that gives us our X. Once again, set the easing to out court. And at this point, we should have something that looks like this. And now it's time to animate it back into the original st spot. So we're going to save this menu in. And we're going to go to second click and we're going to start an animation. We're going to call this menu out. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to rotate the top and bottom back to zero. So we're going to start with the top. Rotate zero degrees on the Z. Bring the easing to out court. And do the same for the bottom. Rotate zero degrees on the Z. Easing to out court. And now what we have to do is we have to bring the opacity back on the middle. So now we're going to select the middle. And at the point 0.5, we're going to do an opacity. Bring the opacity back to 100, easing out court. And I'll do it with previous and then set the delay to 0.5. And now when we set it back to move up back to its original spot, sometimes, in most cases, when it rotates back, or when it animates back to its original spot, the animating out tends to be a little bit quicker than when it animates in originally. So I'm not going to have that extra 0.8 delay. I'm just going to have it shift up and down with the opacity. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to target the top. And I'm going to do a move. And I'm going to move it 0 pixels so it goes back to the original spot. Set the easing to out court. And I'm going to do the same for the bottom. With the middle and top opacity and move interaction. I'm going to do a move. Have it zero pixels up and down. And once again, set the easing to out court. And then we're going to hit save. And once that's done, that's going to give us something that looks like this. And then when we click it again back to our hamburger icon. And that's how you create your own animated hamburger icon 100% in Webflow. Thanks for watching and take care.